checking out the video. If you don't know me, my name is Connor and I make videos on my 2015 Honda Zero 250L. So today we are replacing the sprockets, both front and rear. I've currently got a 1445 set up on the bike. Stock is 1440. We're going to go to 1342 in this video. Uh, now, if you have any questions on gearing on this bike, you know, for wheelies, for highway, for dirt, etc., I made a whole video on it. You can check it out here. But let's get right into this install. We're going with the Renthal 42 tooth rear sprocket. So this will be golden. Just a standard 106 link chain for the stock. This is the same as the stock chain. So this will be great. DID. get this freaking axle bolt off. It's a 24 millimeter, you're gonna need the 24 millimeter to remove it. I got it, so that came in the mail. We're gonna continue getting this removed. I need to make sure I have the right socket size too. I think it's a six millimeter Allen to get these off. So we'll see what we can't get done. We're just gonna get right back into it because I wanna get these new sprockets on so I can ride this thing. Yo guys, I'm so dumb, it is unreal. I cut my hand. All right, viewer disclaimer, this doesn't look pretty, but here's a photo of it. So stupid, my hand slipped off when I was uh, trying to unscrew the sprocket and slammed my hand right onto the sprocket. It sort of went like this. I don't see any blood there, but yeah, she's a, she's a little cut, but we'll survive. We'll live to see another day. I don't think I need stitches. It's a little bit deep, but it should be okay. I got it all cleaned up, so hopefully no infection. Okay guys, yeah, so it's a few days later. This has been the longest sprocket change in the world. I was missing a 17 millimeter uh, wrench to remove the stock sprocket, but we've got the wrench. We've got the six millimeter Allen that's required and we're gonna get these removed. I'm gonna get my brother Cole to help me since I'm kind of uh, one-handed at the moment with these nice little stitches. Can't really bend my finger too much, but yeah. I think my blood mark is on here somewhere too. Yep, there it is, I rubbed it off mostly, but yeah, nice little blood mark. Alrighty guys, and just like that, we've got the new 1342 tooth sprocket set up on the uh, CRF250L. I say just like that as if like it was super quick and easy, but I got so screwed. Definitely make sure you have the right tools for the job. The tools that I was missing was a 17 millimeter Allen, no, 17 millimeter socket, a 22 millimeter socket, as well as a six millimeter Allen screw. So make sure you have all the tools necessary to do the work. That'll make it a lot easier. Try not to cut your hand open either. That also will, you know, sort of expedite things. Nevertheless, we're back. I'm excited to try out these new gears. If you can't hear me, I sound muffled. It's because I'm wearing a balaclava because it's 28 degrees. Um, but yeah, really hoping that these uh, new sprockets are gonna, you know, just feel a lot better. Ideally improve my wheelies. Woo! Yeah, but no, really excited. I have before this a 1445 setup, which is pretty much the same as 1342, just whoa, just with a longer chain. Uh, so I made a whole video on that. You can check that out here. But yeah, we're just out right now, taking a little spin with a new sprockets and chain. You can use the stock chain length. It's 106 lengths. Uh, ideally, just buy the stock chain length uh, at 106 lengths. I accidentally bought 120, so I had to cut it, which was fine, but it was annoying. Um, but yeah, 106 links is a sweet spot. You can use uh, 1440, 1342, uh, I think even 1442, which I may try when I do some like longer trips with highway uh, on that stock 106 link chain. Turn into the left lane. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, guys, I haven't ridden in so long because of the stitches either. It's exactly one week out since, you know, I cut my shit open, had to get those three stitches. I still have them in, I have to get them removed. What is that, an umbrella? jacket. I still have to get them removed uh, 
this time next week. So they're still in my hand. Um, pain isn't as bad anymore. It was really sore initially because it was like black and blue and stuff, super swollen, but pain is a little better now. I'm a jackass is the moral to that story. But um, yeah, I'm just glad to be riding. Hand isn't 100% yet, but it'll get there. Love that tunnel sound though. But yeah guys, if you have a CRF 250L, you're looking for a little more low end power, I definitely recommend changing the sprockets. I know what people do most is first they'll put a 13 on the front, keep the 40 in the rear, see if it's good enough for them. I think 1342 though is a really popular setup. So gives you like the low end torque of like an actual 250 dirt bike. Um, you know, just plus 150 pounds. <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely recommend it. cold <laughs> just hear a red line when we get too too high in those rpms yeah we got to get further back in balance point uh which i'm you know slowly going to get more comfortable with once i get reacclimated to the bike i'm not really that unhappy with the wheelies so far though like they've been so much worse in the past this really is it's not too terrible, for me at least. That was a shift to third. Totally had no traction when I came up there at first. Felt the rear tire spinning. Little sketchy, little sketchy. So nice that they just opened this little pathway for me both ways for the train. Alrighty guys, and here's one last look for you at the new DID 520DZ chain, along with the Renthal rear and front sprockets. I think it looks great with that gold. Nice and clean. If you haven't seen a chain this clean on this bike, probably ever. Sprocket looking nice and new too, so yeah. Felt good, you can tell on the ride it feels good. Slack is like perfect. I think it's the first time I've ever had the perfect amount of slack uh, and it feels good. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep an eye out for a new video next week. Hoping to get back on a better schedule, get my uh, hand fully healed up. But uh, yeah, we're back to riding, so no big deal. But I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.